All right, let's get started. Hi, everybody. Welcome to today's session. My name is Mickey. I am an IBA alumni, and I graduated in 2013. And today's session is about how IBA shaped my life. So first of all, uh, warm welcome to everybody for making it here. Um, I know that there's about, I just heard there's about 200 people that are live streaming. So welcome to everybody joining in from their homes as well. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about what I learned during the IBA program, why I chose the IBA program, and how IBA has helped me uh, in my professional career, but also in my personal one. So these are the talking points from today. I will be covering the program in a nutshell, very, very briefly, just the key points. I will tell you why I chose IBA, but also why other people choose IBA, why my fellow alumni choose this program particularly. I will be covering the international exchange, something that I think is incredibly important for your personal development and your personal growth. It has been incredibly important to me. I will cover what I really learned during the IBA program. So that is not the courses, but that is everything around it. Um, I'll talk to you about my story, life after IBA, what I've done, where I am now, what I currently do. Um, I am an entrepreneur. And we will end with a Q&A session. Clear? Everybody wants to, anybody wants to add anything to this agenda? We're good? All right. Um, as you have now learned, we are the number one business school in the Netherlands. We are the number six business school in Europe, according to the Financial Times. As you can see, we're just below uh, ESCP in Europe and just above UCD, uh, University College of Dublin. And the IBA program, in a nutshell, is a three-year program in international business, after which you will earn the degree of Bachelor of Science. It is taught fully in English, uh, which is the first um, differentiator from the regular BA program. It is fully taught in English. Um, we have an incredible, incredible teaching staff. They're all international. They come from all over the world um, just to teach you the IBA program. We have a really good mix of qualitative and quantitative subjects. So it's about 60-40. If you're not good at one, you can compensate it with the other if you like both happy days. We have an incredibly diverse classroom. As you just learned, the average IBA class has between 50 and 60 different nationalities. You have a little world inside a safe classroom setting, you can practice with these people, you can you know, try to understand you know, multicultural differences, we can practice cross-cultural differences, you can synergize with team projects. And you know, there's, it's not just um, being able to practice with them that's incredibly beneficial for the, for the international program, but also the fact that these people become your friends. So I made a lot of really good friends during my time in IBA, during those three years, uh, I found six of my best friends, um, of whom, you know, they're still my best friends. I still keep in touch with the majority of the people that I spend time with during the IBA program. So these are not just college friends. These are friendships that you make for life that, you know, will go into adulthood, into after that, you know, when you get married, when you have kids, they'll still stay your best friends. So in the third year, RSM gives you the opportunity to go on an international exchange, or you can choose to go for a minor. For example, if you want to learn more about, let's say, law, while you're studying business, you can do that for three to four months, however long you would like. You can also choose to do an internship, and you can do that in any country in the world, wherever you want to do that, and you can do that at any company, be it you know, a startup or a super big multinational company. Anything you want to do, you can do that. You may have heard a little bit about student life in Rotterdam. I can tell you that it is honestly amazing. There is a lot to do in Rotterdam. We have about 20,000 students at once in the city of Rotterdam. That's huge. So we have a lot of stuff going on, both on campus, but also off campus. So on campus, you've got a ton of student organizations that you can join. You can become a board member, or you can become a committee member. We've got a ton of different things that you can be a part of. You know, we've got our financial committees, you have the sustainability committees, consulting, anything. You can also decide to create your own student organization uh, if you don't fit in whatever there is available. And that's something that I've done. I'll tell you a little bit about that in a bit. Um, off campus, there's a ton of stuff to do as well. You know, what with all the Rotterdam is obviously a major hub. We have the largest port in Europe. 
Partly the reason why so many companies are headquartered in Rotterdam. You've seen it.、Um, we have Unilever. We have、uh, Cool Blue. We don't have Shell. We have Cool Blue. A ton of startups. We've got thousands and thousands of startups that are situated in Rotterdam. So it's really a vibrant city with a ton of stuff to do.、Uh, I told you a little bit about you know being able to also create your own student organization if you want to do that. That's something that I've done. RSM really, really encourages, you know, taking initiatives, being courageous enough to start your own organization if you want to. They really encourage entrepreneurship. So you could be part of the new fashion society as of 2012, something that didn't exist before. Myself and four of my best friends during IBA, we all come from different countries. We sat together and we decided that we wanted to build something that wasn't there yet. Now, while you have a lot of options, you know, in terms of communities that you can join, in terms of student organizations that we have on the campus,、uh, there was something missing. Because at the end of the day, it was still a little bit black and white, a bit gray. So we decided to add some color to that by creating what is now the New Fashion Society. And the New Fashion Society is the first and the biggest student-led organization that is focused on fashion and arts. We're the biggest organization in the entire Benelux now. It started with five girls, and we now have hundreds of active members.、Um, our core team now consists of almost 50 people, so it, it's grown pretty big. And what we do is, you know, we do fashion shows, we do sustainability seminars, we do field trips. As we speak, we have a delegation of 30 people that are currently in Paris on a field trip,、uh, you know, to learn more about fashion in, in Paris. We、uh, arrange a lot of internships. We have partnership with LVMH, with H&M, with Nestle, PP Jeans.、Uh, so this is just an example of all the things that you can do at RSM. You don't have to graduate in order to, you know, start your own little business or your own student organization. You can do that while you are a student, and that is something that I personally really loved about the IBA program. That I really felt empowered and encouraged to start these kind of initiatives. That's just one of the many, many reasons. Why you should choose the IBA program? I spoke with a lot of alumni, people who graduated before me, people who graduated after me, current IBA students, and we all have many reasons of why we want to join the program.、But、at the end of the day, it always, always boiled down to these four core reasons. So the first one was to live and to work globally. If you ask any IBA student, current or prospective or alumni, about you know what they want to do in the future, then the, the answer is more it's more about where I want to be in the future and not so much of what I want to do in the future. Because nine out of ten of your IBA alumni are currently living in a country that is not their own hometown. Myself personally, I now live in Singapore. I'll tell you a little bit more about my story,、uh, but I am also. One of those people who's traveling all across the globe and trying to work and live in as many countries as I can. So reason number two is because IBA is the only place at RSM where you actually get to create international friendships rather than only your Dutch fellow Dutch friends. And I'll tell you why that's important. Because I'm Dutch and I've been through the entire Dutch education system in the Netherlands. And when I joined IBA, it was something completely different from my high school experience or from my primary school experience. Because here you had all those people who came from different backgrounds, who have lived all over the world. We had a Russian guy, we had a Mexican girl. I, I just met a Mexican girl, and it is just so different because we become friends, even though we're such different people. You know, with different backgrounds. But the moment you become friends with people that are, you know, very different from yourselves, that's the moment that you know that's really personal growth, and that is something that is incredibly beneficial for you in the future. Something that has helped me in my professional career, but also in my personal life. If you become part of the IBA program, you really become part of a community, because we want to. Reason number one: live and work globally. We are all over the place. So I'm in Singapore right now. One of my best friends lives in Turkey. Another one of my good friends is currently、um, studying at Harvard, doing her postgraduate. That is a network. It's not just a friendship, but it is a huge network that you can tap into. It is a network of valuable connections that you can use either today or tomorrow, or maybe in five or ten years. But you're going to need these people in the future. I, funny enough, I just met 
Um, Jose, I'm not sure if he's here. Oh, you're here. So I just met Jose like 15 minutes ago, and he's currently a second year IBA student. And I don't know why we started talking about you needing an internship. And I asked him what he wants to do, and he told me that he would like to do something in tech, and preferably, you know, going somewhere else, doesn't matter where. So I happen to have a career in tech, have worked at you know, some big companies like IBM and Salesforce, and so I asked him, should I link you in with anybody at Salesforce, because I know that we do a lot of internships. And so you know, it could just be the beginning of something really, really nice. So that is just one example of how a network is incredibly important. It may not benefit you today, but it will benefit you tomorrow. You do not have the same network if you go for the regular BA study, and the reason why is because the BA people usually stay in the Netherlands. So you'd have a little bit less of a network if you'd go to Singapore, in my case, where I now have a lot of, of friends who are also my fellow IBA alumni. Reason number three, cross-cultural understandings. We want to mingle with other people. I want to hang out with other cultures. I want to be friends with American people, with Canadian people, with Chinese people, with Korean people. I want to be friends with everybody. And that's important, not just in your personal life. That is something that helps you in your business life as well. Because when I graduated, I moved to Dublin in Ireland, and it became so much easier for me to you know, work with all of my colleagues who come from all those different countries, because in Dublin, people come from all over the world. And it was only because of my IB experience that I got to do that. So cross-cultural standings are incredibly important, and it's something that at IBA, you get plenty of opportunity to do that in a, in a very safe classroom setting. It's something that, that is, that's incredibly unique. Fourth reason, probably the most important reason, is because when you study IBA, there's a lot of you know, opportunities that you can do. You can become an entrepreneur, you can become a banker, a researcher, you want to become a techie, you can do that. You want to become a consultant, you can also do that. If you do a very quick search on LinkedIn and you have a look at what IBA people are doing today, then you will see that there is not one profession that sticks out. You'll have about you know, 10% who are the researchers, you'll have a percentage who are management consultants, you've got entrepreneurs, you have people working at startups. It's incredibly diverse. So if you're not sure yet what exactly it is that you want to do in the future, IBA is always a great foundation for you to start. As I said before, the people at IBA are truly, truly international. Even if you are not, I still highly encourage you to join this program to learn from international people, to learn from people from all over the world. So as for myself, I just mentioned that I am Dutch, but I am also a cultural melting pot. I was born in Nepal, so a Nepalese mother and a Chinese father. We immigrated to the Netherlands when I was very little. I went through the entire education system in the Netherlands, and then I joined the IBA program. And if not for the IBA program, I probably would have still lived in the Netherlands today, done a, I guess, a Dutch study, and be working at a Dutch company with my Dutch friends, with which nothing is wrong. But the people that are in IBA, they think differently. They don't want to stay in one country. They want to explore as many countries as they can. Netherlands is only one of them. So I had the opportunity to go to Taiwan for my international exchange, which is something that really sparked my curiosity about the world. After I returned from Taiwan, I went to the United States to do, um, to do scientific research. After I graduated from my master's, I went to Ireland to work. One year ago, I moved to Singapore to start my own business, and I am still located there. But for me, as with any of the other countries, Singapore for me is not my end station. We are, my, my partner and I, we want to you know, move to Toronto, live in Paris, live in New York, just get so much international experience, and it is really because of the IBA program that I'm able to feel at home no matter where I go, because I didn't know anybody in Singapore when I moved there, and I moved there with my, with my, with my boyfriend, and we didn't know anybody, but because there are so many IBA people in Singapore, surprisingly, and so many RSM alumni, that it became so easy for me to make new friends, and even though I've only been there for a year, but now I have a really nice... Uh, you know, social circle, many of whom are either RSM alumni or people who introduced me to somebody else. And I refer, again, to the network. That is how important it is. So, you know, with all that being said, I think that I can truly say that IBM is 
is honestly one of the most immersive programs, one of the most international programs that you'll ever experience. And the fact that you get to do that in a classroom setting in Rotterdam, it is definitely, a, it's absolutely a privilege and something that's going to help you a lot. IBA is, is an amazing program and a large portion of that is because of the friends that you make there. At IBA, I said it before, you make friends for life. All of the people that you see on this picture, they all come from different countries. We have a British guy, a Canadian girl, a Turkish girl, a Vietnamese girl, Bulgarian, Romanian, Korean. Everything is in this one picture. This is just a small portion of all the friends that I was able to make during the IBA program. Now, the girl that you see here on the right, upper right, you may be a familiar face. Is there anybody that knows her? Can't see her face very properly. Her name is Hande, and Hande is a bit of a familiar face in Rotterdam because Hande is a Turkish girl who moved to Rotterdam to study IBA, loved it so much that she stayed here, settled down here, and she created her own yogurt company called Luvia Yogurt. She is the founder of Rotterdam's very first, very own yogurt, and she actually makes it by hand at a farm in Rotterdam. So she is all over the newspapers, usually in, in Rotterdam, and she's a bit of a familiar face. Hanne is, an, is a great example of somebody who used her IB experience and turned that into uh, an amazing entrepreneurial opportunity. You make a lot of friends during IBA, but RSM also encouraged you to make friends outside of IBA, and they do that through the international exchange something that I highly encourage you to do if you become part of the IBA program. Do not skip the exchange. I decided to go to Taipei in Taiwan, but RSM has more than 100 partnerships with schools all over the world. You could go to Mexico, you can go to Canada, anywhere in the States you can go, or anywhere in Asia and anywhere in Europe. Uh, the possibilities are really endless. You can go anywhere you want. I decided to go to Taiwan because it is a beautiful island, and I'd only ever seen it you know, in magazines. I read about it, I've seen it on TV, and I decided that I wanted to try that out. And my international exchange was incredibly important for me, because it, it really shaped me into the person that I am today. So even though this exchange is only a five-month project, but you learn so much out of it, and you change so much as a person in those five months. I, again, made amazing friends, because here you had all those people who are coming from different schools all across the world. We all came together in the little island that is Taiwan, and we became friends. And it was partly because of my experience with the IBA program and with all the international people that are in IBA, that it was so much easier for me to really understand those, those cultural differences and be become friends with all of those people from literally, they came from anywhere in the world. And it was an amazing experience. More than just making friends, the exchange is important for yourself because it's truly about personal growth. For me, it really changed me because I became a lot more curious about the world. Because Taiwan was my first real experience of living on my own, abroad in a totally different country, thousands of kilometers away from my parents, and it was just such a different experience, and it made me 100% sure that I wanted to work abroad, I wanted to live abroad, that you know, when I got the opportunity to work anywhere in the world, I would take it anywhere in the world. I had a better understanding of those cross-cultural differences. I started understanding why certain cultures do things the way they do. And a very good example is Dutch people. I'm Dutch. And as you may know, Dutch people can be a little direct. A little, yeah, a little, a lot direct. I'm very direct. And when I had to do my group projects with my fellow IBA classmates, but also during my international exchange, people called me rude. And they, they thought I was incredibly rude, but to me, there were no bad intentions. However, to an Asian person, you know, somebody coming from Taiwan, somebody coming from China or Korea, that's a totally different interpretation. And because of that, it also taught me a lot about myself and about the way that I should act you know, among other people. When you are among you know, Korean people, Japanese people, who are incredibly polite, you do not use your Dutch directness. Like, you, you tone it in a little bit. And by the same token, they learned a lot 
about us and about the European ways. So the international exchange, if you have a chance to go there, I, I strongly encourage you to do that. It's really the highlight of the entire IBA program. As I progressed through the three-year IBA program, uh, at first I was overwhelmed because this is a pretty big school, and Rotterdam is a pretty big city, and I come from a very small village in Friesland, which my fellow Dutchies may know. And, you know, moving from there to, to such a multicultural city and such an international city that is Rotterdam, it was a total culture shock for me. But as I progressed through the program, I quickly learned that it is not so much about what you learn at IBA, meaning to say, the theoretical stuff that you get from books. It is really about what is on the outside, what surrounds the IBA program, and that is the IBA community. I realized that there are four main benefits that come with being an IBA student or a prospective student or an alumni. And the first one is that during the IBA program, you learn a lot. You get to learn almost everything that there is to learn, um, that you can possibly fit into a three-year program about international business and about all different types of management. I think we have about 15 different courses related to management. It's pretty in-depth. But here's the thing. At IBA, it's not just about learning stuff from books. It's really about team projects, going out there, you know, and putting that theory into practice. Even while you are a first-year student, you know, you're 18 years old and you, you enter this big university and, and this international program, and the first assignment they give you is called the Strategic Business Plan, and they ask you to team up with four fellow IBA classmates that are all from a different nationality, preferably as far apart as culturally possible, so that you can get, you know, really get that culture shock in the first three months and learn what it really means to be part of IBA, what it really means to work together with different cultures, because you honestly don't know what that means until you've actually done that, and you realize how different it really is. Two, friends for life. IVA, you make incredible friends. You go through so many things together. You go on field trips together, on study trips. You go, sometimes you go on exchange together. For me, the, the best friendships of my life were formed during my university years in IPA. It was not my high school friends, it was not my primary school friends. It wasn't even the friends that I made during my master's. It was really IBA. That is the core of the people in my social circle, as is the case for many other IBA people. Thirdly, very important, RSM really cares about you, about your professional development, about your personal growth. And so there is a dedicated Mentor Me platform, it's called. This is only accessible for our own students and our own alumni. And if you want to be mentored by somebody senior than you, you can log into this platform and you can request somebody else to mentor you. And by the same token, when you get a little bit older, so that's what I'm doing right now, I'm currently mentoring three of my uh, fellow IBA people who are current students, and I'm mentoring them because I was mentored by two people as well, and you know, it's really about paying it forward. So if you have a chance, if you decide to become part of the IBA community, do check out the Mentor Me platform in your first year already, because the quicker you build that network, the more you're going to benefit from it. Secondly, RSM has an internal job board, only accessible for our own people, and they have partnerships with amazing companies. You know, they partner with Shell, with Unilever, uh, with, with big, big companies, KPMG, EY, anything. On these job portals, you will find internships. You'll find a lot of internships that are only accessible for your own, uh, or your own students. By the same token, full-time jobs are also there because they don't just care about your, you know, your progress as a student, they help you after that as well. Fourthly, the most important one, and I can't stress enough how important a network is, and especially having a global network, how important that really is. Our IBA community is massive. We have hundreds of people all over the world, and I've noticed that alumni really help each other. I have been helped in my professional career more than once by my fellow IBA alumni that I didn't know before I reached out to them. And I reached out to them through the MentorMe platform. It was one of the reasons how I got my job at Salesforce. 
So, you know, alumni, it's such, such a powerful network, and I, I really encourage you to, while you're still a student, or even when you're a prospective student and you've decided to go for the IBA program, you've, you've got accepted into the program, tap into that massive, massive network. They are such valuable connections. Speaking of networking, um, RSM alumni is actually a separate department that RSM has, and their sole focus is to help alumni across the world connect with each other. So you can see me over there, very small. And uh, that was last month in Singapore. I attended an alumni event. I didn't know any of these people when I walked through that door. Nobody knew each other. But by the end of the evening, I had 20 new connections, a couple of new friends, or at least new friendships that were developing, and I gained so much from that. What you see on this photo, these are all alumni, most of them IBA alumni or MBA alumni, that come from everywhere. We had a Slovenian guy, we had a Greek guy, a Taiwanese girl, everything together. We also, like the thing that was very important for me to see here is the different paths that everybody went into. The guy on the very left used to be my mentor when I was an IBA student. Um, he just popped up in Singapore out of nowhere, and we just randomly walked into each other there. Um, he is now a venture capitalist. The rest of this entire group, they are financial analysts, they are Googlers, they work at Amazon, you know, uh, in tech, they are tech executives. We had a ton of entrepreneurs, investors, you really have everything. And it just really goes to show that, yes, IBA is such a core foundation, with which you can do so many things. You can go in that direction, or you can go in the completely opposite direction. And IBA partly made that possible. These people, because we were all alumni, and I didn't know these people before, um, as I said before, I have a few of my own businesses, and there happened to be um, an angel investor there, and there happened to be some other fellow entrepreneurs, and there happened to be venture capitalists there. So not only did I make more new friends and more connections, I also managed to get a meeting for my startup in there, you know, to try and secure an investment. So you never know what comes from new connections or what comes from a new network. And that is why it is so important to build that network as soon as you can. You learn a lot during IBA, but it doesn't stop after you graduate from the IBA program. Because IBA instills in you a mindset that really empowers you to, you know, do whatever you want to do, create opportunities that are not there yet, work hard, you know, make your goals come true. That is the reason that I decided to do my master at the University of Amsterdam, and I wanted to do a more technical master. So I went to this university, and I had two very clear goals that I had when I started this program, and it's the only reason why I decided to go for this program. My goal number one was I wanted to experience life at an American university, and I wanted to be part of the real American college experience, the kind that you only see on TV and that you only read about in books. My goal number two was I wanted to do meaningful research, real meaningful research with PhD students, and I wanted it to be published. I wanted to have an academic article on my name. These opportunities did not exist at the University of Amsterdam, nor did they have any exchange program or research exchange programs. However, it was because of the IBA program that I thought, you know what, I think I can just go out there, create that opportunity, build those connections. Again, I built a network that allowed me to finally go to the University of California in Irvine and write research and do meaningful research, and it eventually got published as an academic article. And the reason why that came true, I credit a lot of the, almost everything back to the IBA program, because I didn't have that kind of courage when I started the IBA program. I wasn't the same person when I, when I exited high school and I entered the IBA program. I wasn't the same person as I was when I graduated the program. You may think how much can change in those three years, but I tell you, a lot changed. For me, I became a completely different person. And the person that you see here today, that's definitely not the same as it was you know, when I was 18 years old. And so, for me, IBA means being able to do what you want to do, create your own goals, create your own dreams, and you have to work hard yourself to make those dreams come true. And you just need a little push, that is usually IBA, 
Um, and a lot of fellow entrepreneurs will tell you the same thing, that IBA is the, is the core foundation for us upon which we build our companies. So this is what I've done in Amsterdam, this is what I've done in, in California. Then I graduated, and uh, I had to look for my first job. I wanted to work in tech, and I really wanted to live abroad, and I didn't care where it was. So it made sense for me to move to Dublin, the capital city of Ireland. As you may know, Dublin is a booming city. It is also dubbed as the Silicon Docks because it is home to the largest multinational companies in the world who all have their European headquarters uh, located in Dublin. And I went to Dublin and I worked at IBM first, and after that I moved to Salesforce, where I stayed for four years. And what I found in Dublin was pretty remarkable. It was like the afterlife of IBA. It was IBA 2.0, even 3.0. It was the different nationalities. People came from all over the world to Dublin to work there. These people became my teammates. They became my colleagues. I had to do presentations with them. I had to work with them. And I knew how to do that because I had gotten all of that valuable experience during the IBA program, but in a very safe classroom setting, because here it was no longer a classroom setting. And for a lot of my fellow colleagues, for them, it was the first time that they you know, experienced live, working and living with different nationalities, and they had a hard time coping with that for the first couple of years. But for IBA people, it is so easy to adjust. Just settle in. You can go to any country in the world. You will make friends, because you know how easy it is to make friends with different kind of people. So I made a ton of friends in Dublin as well. They came from all over the world. And uh, I was even lucky enough to find my boyfriend there, who is French. And more than new people in Dublin, we also had a really good footprint of fellow IBA people and fellow RSM alumni and MBA people that were somehow all touching down in Dublin and starting their careers there. And at first, I thought it was a coincidence that many people just thought like me and wanted to work in tech and wanted to work abroad and therefore moved to Dublin. But I soon learned that it was not a coincidence. The reason that there are so many IBA people in Dublin, so many RSM people, it's because of the network. Because people in IBA refer other people from IBA to come to Dublin, referring them into those companies. I was referred into Salesforce by another IBA alumni, and I also referred many other people getting into companies like IBM, like Salesforce, like Google, and like LinkedIn because that is not just how Dublin works, that is how the world works. Besides having the right qualifications, the right experience, you can have the right everything, but at the end of the day, you're still going to need the right connection to get into the companies like LinkedIn, like Google, like Salesforce. And um, I refer back to Jose, because you know, if you're going to do an internship at Salesforce, who knows, you, know, you may land a full-time job there at Salesforce or at Google or whatever, and you will refer your fellow IBA people in there that is how we get so much IBA footprint, because we have more than 50 IBA people in Dublin spread over those different companies. In Salesforce alone, we are 20 people. Dublin was an amazing experience. I stayed there for five years. I built a life there that I really loved, and I love my job. But as with many IBA people, we can never stay in the same place for too long. So my partner and I, we wanted to venture out, and we wanted to move to a completely different continent, and we thought that it would be nice to move to Singapore. But what would I do in Singapore? I quit my life in Dublin, I quit my job, I quit my friends, and I quit my house. I left everything behind to pursue something that I didn't even know what it was. I left before having a solid plan. But there was something that was in the back of my mind and had been there for many, many years, more than 10 years, I had always thought of this one particular quote that was always there, but somehow I never did anything with it. And it is this quote right here. Build your own dreams, or someone else will hire you to help build their dreams. It was such a powerful quote to me, and it, I'm sure it doesn't apply to everybody, but it applied to me. And I had always wanted to start my own business. I wanted to run my own company. I wanted to you know, incorporate my own ideas into a business that was mine. I wanted to really do my own thing. And I didn't want to be part of a corporate wheel. So I decided to just 
go for it. And fast forward to today, I am now living in Singapore. My partner and I are both working and living there very happily. And I have three companies. Many people ask me, you know, especially for a starting entrepreneur, Mickey, why would you start more than one business venture? It's not smart. You shouldn't do that. You should focus all your efforts on one company because it's already a lot of work. And it is a lot of work. Entrepreneurship is incredibly difficult. I've done it for one and a half years now. And I've learned so much during that one and a half year, more than I could have ever learned in 100 years at IBM or at Salesforce. Despite both of them being incredible companies, it just wasn't for me. I wanted to do projects and bring ideas into the world that weren't there yet. And to me, each of these three businesses serve a very specific purpose, and it is the reason why I still get up at 5 a.m. every single day and work endlessly on these companies. The first company is called Minit. It is a tech company, uh, a deep tech IA company, AI company, sorry. And what we do there, what I do there, is we enable students from the RSM University to act as virtual assistants for small and medium-sized businesses. That means that whatever you study, let's say you do a master in marketing management, you can come to me, I can give you work that is related to your, to your master. So you could, for example, do um, a marketing campaign, you could put a marketing campaign together for a company, for a web shop, it could be for Cool Blue, for example. For deck bed discounter, you could do all of those things that are so related to your major, it's better than, you know, working at... I know a lot of us are working as cashiers or working in restaurants because we need to earn money on the side. I've done the same. I worked in three restaurants at the same time while I was doing IBA because I needed, I needed the money. Partly because of my experience and because of my fellow students' experience, I thought that there had to be a better way. We need to empower students because students are smart people. If you go to RSM, you are a smart person. You are capable of doing more than, you know, serving plates in a restaurant. And I thought, why did nobody give me that opportunity? So I created a platform so that in the future, I could give that opportunity to all of my fellow students. If you are a student in a certain major, I will connect you with a certain company to provide meaningful work, get paid for it meaningfully. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's kind of, it's kind of like an internship to you, to the student. So to me, this, this project is incredibly important. Secondly, we have Boxy, which is gender-neutral baby clothing that I designed myself. It's a bit of a passion project, something I'm very passionate about because I've seen the gender inequalities, especially in the tech industry where I come from, and I want to raise more awareness about that into the world. Finally, I have the Happiness Project, which is professional services, and it is creative corporate gifting. And basically, it's meant to you know, offer personalized gifts to, to companies, small, large, anything, just to bring more color into the corporate world. Where I am today, when I, when I uh, compare it with you know, when I was an IBA student, it was very, very different. And I feel that you know, I'm a lot more happier than when I was when I started my first job in Dublin. And it takes a little bit of time to find what you really like and really find your passion, find what you're good at and probably what the world needs. And, um, sorry, I blacked out a little bit. Seems like there's a bit of people leaving. Have a good day, thank you for joining. Bye, but no worries, no worries at all. Okay, sorry, let me move on. So, all right, um, basically all the experience that I accumulated during the IBA program, during the international exchange, during all of my work experience that I had, that all of that has shaped me into the person that I am today. And because of that, I created these companies, and it's something that makes me really happy. And when I talk to my fellow IBA people, I notice that, you know, it is, again, it is the IBA program that gives you that foundation to, to really... Um, I'm sorry. Right, sure, sure, sorry. I'll, I'm going to move on. Key takeaways, final slide. If you're going to take anything away from this session, um, it's three things. The first is that IBA allows you to have an international career, an international life. You can live all over the world, do whatever you want. The second is that the IBA program is not what is important, it is what is around it that is incredibly important. Mentoring, career services, alumni events. Thirdly, IBA instills in you a mindset, an incredibly strong foundation, 
so that you can do whatever it is that you want to do. So if you want to, you know, if you want to think about what it is that you want to do, here's a few example questions that if you want, you can think about that. You don't have to share that today, but just think about what your dream journal looks like, what it is that you want to do, and what, you're, what are you going to do with the IBA program. If you want to connect with me, feel free to, you know, add me on LinkedIn, send me a message, visit any of my companies. Um, if you have questions, if you have feedback, if I can help you with anything at all, please feel free to reach out to me. That concludes my session. If you have any questions, I know we're a little bit over time, um, but I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you. Thank you.